things that I understand about this dream now that I didn't understand before include um, so thin ice Yoko Ono had a song called thin ice and then this word thin in general um, I think thin is T you know Horse, I know. So I think thin stands for, you know, somebody that's trying to, um, stop the financiers from, you know, slandering me, blacklisting me and all of the above. Okay. So then I, you slip through the thin ice. So you have to be careful because if you c collect weight, on one foot where is it um, let's see so I'm trying to do something in the ice-covered room I have to keep my weight as distributed as evenly as possible if you stand on one foot and concentrate weight it's dangerous so my understanding is that weight means to wait like to stretch out time so that's a bad thing. So my parents didn't come. I don't know what the deal is with that. All of this stuff is arranged ahead of time. That's one thing I can tell, especially certain people. Um, I mean, I've had dreams about people long before they could have made any, you know, real decisions about what they were going to choose. Like Wendy, for example, or other people um, that basically predict what their choices are going to be. So people are extremely manipulated in this situation. So extremely manipulated. Now, I don't know here, so I'm wearing a short black dress. If, you know, short is something, it means short and black means something covert. Um, I'm trying to make myself look as good as possible. I think this has to do with them, you know, and, and this has been this whole thing like, Oh, you can't do, you have to do this right. You have to, you know, that was the big message, especially right at first. Like I wasn't good enough and I had to like somehow be better. I had to, you know, be more graceful and blah, 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 blah. Uh, but I didn't even know that in the background at that point, I didn't know that in the background, people were slandering me left and right and saying all kinds of fictions about me. I mean, does it really matter if I put my coat on the back of the chair properly? If somebody says that I murdered someone in a parking lot? I mean, this is, but I don't even really know that. I just find that out years later. So I think that's what this really means. I'm spending all this time trying to make myself look good so that people will approve of me and I can have my human rights, which is ridiculous. You don't look, you don't, you don't have to be perfect to get your human rights. You don't have to be perfect to get your constitutional rights. All you have to do is be a citizen to get your constitutional rights and a human being to have human rights. That's how it works. It's how it's supposed to work. So there is no date. Now I don't know what date means. I don't know if date means the time, you know, when you get out of prison or if date means when they they assassinate you. I don't know which, what it means. It might, probably means either one. But, you know, and I looked at the date line and I saw that probably was linked to assassinations. And then I, you know, kind of got a better um, idea of this tagline that NBC has. They're program called Dateline don't watch alone so to watch something is to also like to wait you know to make to just sit there and watch something and 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 set a time from when you're going to make a decision rather than handling stuff when you need to handle it and alone is a word that gets used for us as if we've been loaned out that's that's a you know euphemism for slavery so don't watch alone you know and Dateline is a show about murders that's why it's called Dateline. It's because of the, you know, the international Dateline and the sim symbolism around it.